Greetings and welcome to Factorio. I'm Degray, and today we continue our entry level 2 megabase where we in the last episode just uh, hook up our flying rubber flames, frames even, and our low density structures. Um, in between episodes I went and got a bit of resources from uh, from over here. I didn't want to bore you with the with this thing. So do comment what you think about me doing this off camera. It took me about 20 minutes to do, so um, I thought it was quite good. Uh, in today's episode, we will um, we'll start to look into uh, processing units. It is uh, one of the last things we need before we can produce uh, utility science. Or it is the last thing we need before we produce utility science. So um, as soon as we have that, we have pretty much all the sciences we need. Might go back and get uh, military science at some point, but... Um, that is pretty much uh, the main bus build uh, almost done. So uh, before we start building our processing units, do remember to like the video if uh, you enjoy this. And as I said, do comment what you think about me doing that little part off camera. And if you're new to the channel, do remember to subscribe as well. So um, let's get on with uh, building our processing units. Before we start though, I want to upgrade my steel smeltering to uh, to bed the furnaces, since that is the main thing we are lacking at the moment. And uh, we did set up this a little while ago, so we should have enough to do it. Instead of doing it by hand, I want to show you a little nifty trick. If you have robots turned on and use a little upgrade planner, you are able to just hover above these. It says these freeze goes to um, the free steel ones, of course you can see you can do the same with inserters and such. But if you just use these three, robots will put, uh, put them down and lay in something else. If you want to do an entire one, you are able to mark it all, but it upgrades more than once. Normal inserters to fast inserters, belts and such. But if you click on it and place it in your inventory, you're able to right click on it and say I want to upgrade from, go in here or stone furnaces to steel furnaces. And by doing that, I am now able to drag it across all of this and it'll only mark the furnaces and our robots will do it. Of course, when it's in a straight line, it's just as easy just doing it uh, yourself, not waiting for uh, the robots. But uh, they can give a little helping hand just so you know how this function works, which is, uh, is very, very nice. So let's just fill in the rest get our uh, steel production twice as fast. There we are. And uh, let's go over and set up processing units. One of the last things uh, we need in terms of complexity. So um, I'll just quickly run over here. Oh, let's turn off the robots so we don't build the belts. At least I don't want them to yet. And go this way. We should have all we need to build it in our inventory. That is at least what I'm hoping. And uh, now it's time to do a new build this way. If you look at the processing units, they require electronic circuits, advanced circuits and sulfuric acid. Somewhat uh, easy to get. All of them, they just require a ton of electronic circuits and uh, the massive build we did a few episodes ago is was also in preparation for this part. So um, let's just place it down. As you can see, it has three inputs. We want the green circuits on a line by itself, just because of the massive amount of things we need. So let's see if we can't plan it out somewhere over here. We'll just see if we can set it up correctly. We want that. We want some fluids. We want two belts. So if you want to make room for the two belts, like that. And then we want a pipe maybe going out here. Then we'll kind of jump. We only jump one of them, but uh, in theory we can do something like this and get the pipes going down. We can use underground instead. But doing something like this, we should be able to get in what we need. So that'll have sulfuric acid, 
that will have red circuits. They'll have green circuits. We couldn't fit do a mixed belt of red and green circuits and one full green just because of that mount needs. But for now, let's just uh, do a full line going in. They'll take about two per minute, or sorry, two per second uh, at the moment. So that means one belt of 15 can supply seven of these, or seven and a half. A red belt can supply 15. So if we make it about 15 long, just so uh, we have a nice setup for it, I think that'll be good. One thing I do want to do as well with these undergrounds is um, I could in theory do this. If you do an underground here to here, that leaves room for a power pole. That also means we can have our inserters. Grab that one. That'll be the red. And this one will grab the green. Giving us all the inputs we need and all the power we need. And we should be able to remove this and just stamp it down if we do something like this. Isn't this modular? It is. Activate our robots. They will build this for us. A lot easier than we can ourselves. And um, that should be good. Output wise, right here. Just doing these two. We can put a little power there. So we have a nice two, um, two setup. Now that we have this, we will be able to copy it up and then multiply it to the side. Uh, let's go for um, about 15. I think that'll be quite good as, as that, or maybe just 14, since that's easy to copy, and then we'll go from there. So taking this, that'll be 4, that'll be 8, it goes 16, just to have a nice uh, even number. And just like that, we've built a massive uh, blue circuit production that uh, I hope that all of our, our machines can handle. And very, very compact. I think this might be the most compact build I've uh, made so far. So let's just help them out with the pipes. Since that is right here and the belts. And then they can take the rest, almost. There we are. Build my little minions. Please place down the rest of the things. So um, we could mirror this right now. I'll just mark it out at the bottom. But um, they'll consume a bit too many resources right now if um, if we fill all of this in. So I think one sided for now would be uh, be good. We won't even close to, uh, to fill our yellow belt, but. Um, I think it'll be quite good for what we need. There we go. Robots are building. Slowly going down like this. Make sure they always take the one that's closest. And there we are. Complete build. And uh, everything is looking very, very good. Now for the inputs. We want green circuits on uh, this line. Going up. Might have to upgrade these to red, but we'll see. So let's take the green circuits first. Sweet. To here, split it off going uh, up that way. Could do something like this as a split. What's doing? Doesn't leave a lot of room, does it? But we'll just do it the old fashioned way, like that. And oh, it has to line up one more, so it has to be. Is it right here? Right there. And let's do some green circuits. Do it right here. Will that be fine? I think it will jump you a bit further. Let's see if we can make that look a bit better. Then you'll jump yet again to there and you'll just kind of go up this way. So that is the green circuits in, and we still have enough room to get in our red ones right next to it. So how far back is the red? They're just over here. Might want to go and grab just a few more um, undergrounds. From our mall. 
as that will be needed. And then we'll hook up the red. So we'll be back in a sec. So um, now we can uh, hook in the red, just dragging the belt stack back this way, making sure that we have what we need for our processing units. To right here, if that'll be good. And you'll jump this way. I'll just take this as a measuring stick. So there, there, right there. And just split you off this way. Uh, the thing about doing it one-sided, as I said, so uh, why don't we just try that? Very simply by doing this. And then we can always get the green in on the opposite side, uh, if needed. Oh, I completely misaligned that. Not my bad. There we are, it has to go in right here instead. That shouldn't be an issue either, since we did make room. It could have been an issue if we didn't do this. We just took it out directly. So, well done future me, or past me even. Do you want to before? Gen jump you to there with you going up. Let's do it back here instead. So that way we have going in on the side as I want to. And here goes all the red circuits up this way, supplying this with, with the red. And the last thing we need is pretty much just a sulfuric acid. Did we add that to the main bus? We did. Perfect. So um, that should be very easy to hook up. Except I messed it up right here. So we can probably jump it a bit further if we're lucky. Otherwise, we have to change this a bit, maybe getting it on the opposite side instead. So we can just do... Well, it can be as simple as this, to be honest. Let's just take you and move you here instead. Thank God for easy uh, removable objects. There we go. There we are. Let's empty that side. And uh, then we should be good. Well, give it a full one and we'll sort it somewhere else. There we are. Let's just steal you. Oh, unless we're already down there. We are. So let's get this for acid this way. Sticking with our principles of... Uh, Always going it uh, methodical this way. And there we are. That is processing units running very, very nicely. Let's, um, let's do the mirror flip. Oh, look at that. Nice. Uh, and let's upgrade these to red belts as well. Because I don't think this will supply enough. At least we will be in a, a bit of an issue. Because they are consuming everything before it gets to the end. And it consumed all the power. Jesus. So we'll probably have to look at some power at some point as well. But that goes all of our um, processing unit. Because that again did activate green. Did activate a sulfur. Or completely emptied out the red in a matter of seconds. And the greens are starting to be produced as well. Just sending as much as they can down the line as possible. Let's grab a bit for my person in case we need it for making things, for example, a power armor. So let's get the power armor. Let's get in, could get some night vision because of the fear of the dark mod I have because of YouTube recording. I have perfect night glasses instead. Will enable you to see a bit better. And we can start to get exoskeletons. So we can start to move a bit faster. So as you can see, these uh, unlock a lot of things. Now I'd like to equip you. And then we have to empty out 
this one. Unfortunately, they use uh, lose the charge when you take out the things from the module armor. Do you remember that if you're out in the field and want to change to some other armor? That they do, they will lose uh, their charge. Oh, let's do this correctly. You can go here instead. There, there. Not sure if this is needed, and we can we can make room for the glasses as well. And but then we don't really have that many uh, solar panels, so you might want to wait a bit with the exoskeletons because, as you can see, we're generating 150, and these are consuming 200. So um, yeah, let's uh, let's try this for now. That's at least enough to make sure we can run full speed. And with the current production. That'll give us an increased movement speed. So um let's see, should we just go and fix a bit of the belts? Fixing our green circuits actually flowing down this line fast enough. I kinda want to, so instead of doing it by hand, let's get our little robot friends to do it. I'll just remove these. Ooh, that's an underground didn't want to remove. Let's change that in a second. If you can do, if you have this one, if you hold down shift and go over them, you can uh, remove a deconstructed uh, plan. Oh! <laughs> I'm such an idiot. I opened the wrong one. I was like, why don't I have any more room? I'm not sure I would have a lot more room now. Oh, such an idiot. I'm guessing you guys were yelling that in the comments. I saw it. It's under control now. We have uh, things flowing in. And things are looking good. So, whoops. Let's gather some steel as well. So we can make a bit more solar. And... Some iron. And there we are. Testing. Let's expand out of green circuits, getting both of them to the ends. We can upgrade them to red, we can also just drag the yellow. We'll have the same effect. So let's give them a little helping hand. Luckily we've already put down the undergrounds to make sure they can go through. So it shouldn't be too bad to do this part. And of course remembering to, to, uh, to split off the things we need further down the line. So everything gets a full belt. So here we are. Let's drag you to the end. And there we are. That should give us uh, close to full belt. We can just add this one here saying please up right to the left. To make sure this gets uh, the full belt going in. And then instead of upgrading all of this to red, we can just upgrade this one. That one, that one, and all of this to red. To make sure it, uh, it gets in. Can we just drag it up this way? Oh, we can, perfect. So, there we are. As soon as the robots are back, or have some power, we will be able to uh, to see it in action. So um, I think this is uh, getting to a place where I want to stop. We could just grab the copper ore as well, getting it in up here, since copper will be lacking. And since I didn't show you before, I'll show you what it looks like doing it on camera won't take very long and uh, it's quite easy to do. So let's just run down to um, a little cover and then I might skip a few things but I'll just show you how you set it up and then do a little time lapse for some of this. At least I'll try to. So let's remove the trees. Always start by destroying the trees.
might take out the legs from this one for now, as they consume a bit too much power, a bit more than I'm comfortable with. And then we'll set up the things here we need. Since we need to go out this way and up, because I want to go around the back, the same way as it, we'll have the outputs of the smelters going that way. So the easiest way to do that is setting it up like this. Saying one, two, three. Two, three. Get some power poles. Get some pipes. Not pipes, sorry. Some belts. And then just uh, stamp them down like this. Because that way you'll make sure everything is covered. You can use the power poles to line them up. And uh, if there's not room for any miners, they'll just not place any down. And as simple as that, the entire thing has been covered. Here are some belts for you. Hopefully we have enough. Let's get this one. Here, and then the bots will do the rest of the heavy lifting. You are able to pick up bots if you want them to stop charging and just uh, work. Which is, uh, is very, very nice. Here we are. And we're missing a few, but that's fine. And also do a fallen balancer. I could do a fallen balancer. We can also do a simple one. Just doing a fast split to fast split into that. Then we have a four to two. And that is, uh, is good enough for what we need. There. Here, and you can go up uh, this way, and in, giving us two lanes out. A bit of power, let's just steal it from over here, to right there, starting all of these, they'll start to produce copper, sending it back to the base, and now I'll just drag a belt going this way, and then up here and in. And then we will be back in just a second. So um, now we have the copper back at the base and I just kind of want to fill it in here. One thing I want to do though, and make sure we do, is empty out um, the thing here in the main area first. So an easy way to do that is pretty much just put a little splitter here. Say input priority on this one from the left. So we'll take this one first, the same over here. And then we can drag in things saying you'll only take it in as long as the other one can't supply any. Because that way we'll get a full belt out, but we'll still take everything from here before taking it from the outpost. It's pretty much the same thing we're doing down here. So um, I think this is a pretty decent place to stop. Uh, do comment what you think about the way I did the little build of the iron outpost. Try to do it um, on camera, half on camera at least. It's good to try new things once in a while. Editing might have to get a bit better, but we'll see. And uh, yeah, we got processing units, we got our much alarm. And uh, that means that in the next episode we will set up a utility science pack and then we'll see uh, how our base fares, if we need to upgrade more of this to uh, better things and improve our belts. So um, thank you so much for watching guys, hopefully you're still enjoying this, I'm at least enjoying making it. So if you do, do remember to like it, and if you're new to the channel, do remember to subscribe as well. And with that, I've been Degree, and I'll see you next episode. Bye guys.